few days now, I still haven't weighed in on Israel-Palestine. I honestly don't know who to post. Usually it's easy. BLM, bang, Ukraine, bang, COVID, bang. Hey, did you do your Israel-Palestine post yet? I've never missed a stand. So who'd you go with? I look at my phone, I see a lot of Republicans supporting Israel. So I go, maybe stay away from that. Then I see a lot of the people we've been calling Nazis supporting Palestine. But then get this, the people that we've been calling them Nazis with are happy Israel's getting attacked. Riddle me that. But there really is no easy answer here. That's literally what I was saying, man. Because uh, normally it's pretty easy. I don't know what the answer is. I just want to post one of the flags and sort of be done with it. It's, I'm getting yelled at if I post Palestine. I'm getting yelled at if I post Israel. Obviously, I was at the front lines of getting mad at Kanye West when he was doing the anti-Semitism stuff. Where everyone was thanking me for standing up for the Jewish community. So naturally, I'm seeing this happen. I go, okay, we're back with the Jews again. I see Kylie Jenner post for Israel. I think, okay, the word's in. Then boom, she's getting killed on every angle. So it's not Israel. So I start doing a bit more research. I'm seeing queers for Palestine. And generally, Really you want to be on the side of the queers. If you look at the things, you're not going to get in trouble if you go with what the queers are saying. Then Mia Khalifa, who we obviously support, is posting with the queers. And she's getting fired from her job. The whole reason I'm posting this is to get in better standing with my job. And by the way, I started to see that your silence is noted post popping up, so we're running out of fucking time here. If you had to pick. I would stay out of it like I told you. Feels like we like decolonizing. What, what is decolonizing? Is that just like killing the people? I know to you, it might be like, oh, who cares? What do you think? A buddy of mine booked a Geico commercial from his Ukraine TikTok, so it happens. 